Hey everyone, this is Maria Teresa here and welcome to the YouTube channel Helping Hands. Income tax is a type of direct tax charged by the central government on individuals or on business entities based on the income and profits earned during a financial In India. Year. This income tax is based on tax slabs which applies to the individuals as per the income ranges. Slab rates are revised periodically, typically during the budget session. Topic: Old tax regime versus new tax regime comes into prominence. Recently, you might have noticed that your employer might have given you a notification regarding the updation of which type of tax regime you should opt. This is because during the last budget in 2023, our respected finance minister Srimadi Nirmala Sitharaman had declared new tax regime as a default tax regime with some changes in slab rates. The employer is asking you to update which type of tax regime you want is because they have to cut the TDS from your salary as per the option opted by you. So it is time for you to choose wisely to avoid unnecessary TDS deduction from your salary. And a point to be noted is that as per the current norms, the individuals has a golden opportunity to choose between which type of tax regime they require for the coming upcoming financial year. But for the business entities, it is only a once in a lifetime chance. And as I've already mentioned for individuals, they have the golden opportunity to switch between the tax regimes they want in every financial year. But the case is that if they are selecting a particular tax regime for a financial year, during that fiscal year, they can't change. And one more golden opportunity which they are getting is that, but while filing the ITR, if they are filing the ITR within the due date, they can switch between the tax regimes. For example, if a person has opted for new tax regime uh, during the financial year, and while filing the ITR and uh, he his mind changed to switch to the old tax regime, he can do so, but the condition is that he has to do it within the due date of filing the ITR. When the budget in 2023 regarding the new tax regime was released, uh, many or some of us may be confused regarding uh, which to choose, which tax regime will be better for me and how to choose. So let's just get into the basics of what is the difference between new tax regime and old tax regime. Now in this slide, we are presenting the slab rate comparison between the old tax regime as well as the new tax regime. As all of you might be knowing, the old tax regime is the still the same. That is, up to 250,000, the tax rate is nil. And from 250,001 rupee to 5 lakh, the tax rate is 5 percentage of the total exceeding rupees 250,000. And for 5 lakh and 1 rupee to 10 lakh, the tax rate is 20 percentage of the total income exceeding rupees 5 lakh. And from 10 lakh and 1 rupees to 15 lakh, the tax rate is 30 percentage of the total income exceeding rupees 10 lakh. And from 15 lakh and 1 rupee and above, it is 30 percentage of the total income exceeding rupees 10 lakh. Now, coming to the new tax regime, the slab rates are changed. That is, here you can observe that up to rupees 3 lakh, the tax rate is nil. And from 3 lakh and 1 rupee to 6 lakh, the tax rate is 5 percentage of the total exceeding rupees 3 lakh. And from 6 lakh and 1 rupee to 9 lakh, the tax rate is 10 percentage of the total exceeding rupees 6 lakh. And from 9 lakh and 1 rupee to 12 lakh rupees, the tax rate is 15 percentage of the total exceeding rupees 9 lakh. And from 12 lakh and 1 rupee to 15, 000, 15 lakh rupees, the tax rate is 20 percentage of the total income exceeding rupees 12 lakh. And above rupees 15 lakh and 1, it is 
30 percentage of the total income exceeding rupees 15 lakh you can take a screenshot of this slide now let's see some additional comparisons that is in the old tax regime a rebate of up to rupees 12500 was available for individuals who are having an annual income up to 5 lakhs which comes under section 87a and they have to pay means the person in the old tax regions has to pay a health and education cess of 4 percentage on the total tax to be paid in all cases and in new tax regime we can see here the rebate has increased to 25000 coming under session 87a for income up to rupees 7 lakh that is tax rebate of the amount of tax in excess of the difference between the total income and rupees 7 lakh is allowed for income more than 7 lakh and the health and education says same as the old tax residue that is 4 percentage of the total tax is to be paid in all cases and for letting you understand I will take the case different cases that is different examples first let's go through an example in which we are considering only the standard deduction which applies to both old tax regime as well as new tax regime and in this case we are not considering any other deductions or exemption that is if suppose a person is having a, a gross salary he is not having any kind of exemption and deduction then what will happen that we will see in the next slide see for example, if a person is having a gross salary of 750000 so as per the standard deduction, rupees 50000 is applicable in both the tax regime. So the total taxable income will be rupees 7 lakh. So now let's compare between new tax regime and old tax regime. In new tax regime, from income 0 to 3 lakh, as I told you, it is nil. So, for the gross salary of 7 lakh, from 0 to 3 lakh rupees, it is nil, that is 0, 0 rupees. And from, since the person is having an income of 7 lakh, till 3 lakh we have considered. After 3 lakh to 6 lakh, it is 5 percentage. So, the tax will be 15,000 up till 6 lakh. And now the person is having a salary of 7 lakh, so... The third slab also will get applied that is for, from 6 lakh to 9 lakh the percentage is 10. So the amount of that 1 lakh rupee which is remaining is 10,000. So the total tax uh, which we, he will be accumulating is 25,000. And as per rebate under section 87A he is getting a rebate of 25,000. And the net tax payable will be nil because the total tax payable is deducted because of the rebate which comes under section 87a. So the effective tax rate is 0 percentage. Now taking the same case that is the person is having a gross salary of 7 lakh and 50,000. Now we are comparing it with the old tax regime. So in the case of old tax regime the slab is like 0 to 2.5 lakh there is nil so the amount is 0 for 2 lakh to 5 lakh is 5 percentage so 12,500 rupees and from 5 lakh to 10 lakh the rate will be 20,000 so for the remaining 2 lakh it will be 40,000 that is 20 percentage of the four, uh, 2 lakh is 40,000 so the net tax he is supposed to pay is 52,500 and he will not get a rebate as because under old tax regime rebate is allowed only up till the gross salary of rupees 5 lakh. And here the total tax payable will be 52,000 rupees 500 but here the person will not be getting any rebate under session 87a because his taxable income is 7 lakh in the old tax regime to get a rebate of 12500 the taxable income should be 5 lakh 
and below. Since it is 7 lakh here, he will not be getting any rebate and the net tax payable by that person would be 52,500 in the case of old tax return. That is effective tax rate will be 7.5. This is case number 1. So here in case 1, you find new tax regime beneficial. So don't be too eager to judge that the new tax regime is always better than the old tax regime because the case may be different for different persons. So here's the catch for you. Let's see. As you can see, in the old tax regime, there are about 70 deductions and exemptions for the taxpayer opting for concessional rates, which I'll be discussing in the upcoming videos. But taxpayer opting for new tax regime has only a limited number of deductions and exemptions, which I have listed here, like standard deduction of 50,000 rupees and employer contribution to NPS under section 80 CCD2, etc. Here also you can see that in the old tax regime, the taxpayers can claim deduction under NPS for both the employees as well as employers contribution to NPS. If you want, you can take a screenshot of this slide. I'll be discussing about all other points in the upcoming videos. Now in case one, we have seen an example without exemptions and deductions including only the standard deduction. Now, let's see another case. Now, let's see another case in this Excel calculator in which I am including exemptions and deductions. Here, I have included only a few types of exemptions and deductions just for illustration. As per your eligibility, you can include other type of exemption and deductions also. Here comes the case number two. Suppose if the gross annual income of the person is 7 lakh 60 thousand rupees, we are going to compare between the old tax regime and new tax regime. Under standard deduction, in both the cases, you will be getting a deduction of rupees 50 thousand. Now, let us assume, suppose the HRA exemption is 72 thousand rupees, which can be claimed in old tax regime but not in new. Also, deductions under Chapter 6A is also not available under new tax regime. Under ATC, an amount of maximum 150,000 is included. NPS of 50,000 is also included. Under Session 80D, an amount of Rs. 25K is also included in the old tax regime which are not available in the new tax regime. Now coming to the professional tax, it is included in both the tax regimes, so included an amount of 2,400 rupees in both the cases. And coming to the deduction under home loan interest, an amount of maximum up to 2 lakh rupees can be included in the old tax regime, but in the new tax regime, it is not allowed. So now you can see that the taxable income coming under the old tax regime is just 2 lakh 10,600 rupees and in the new tax regime the taxable income is 7 lakh 7,600 rupees. So the income tax due is nil in the first case and the income tax is 25,760 in the second case. Also so here in the, uh, in the old new tax regime you won't be getting a rebate of 25,000 since the taxable income is more than 7 lakh rupees. And also, health and education says of 4% on the income tax payable will be also applied, which is 1,030 rupees. So, total an amount of 26,790 rupees will be the liability of the taxpayer to pay the tax. Now, Let's take one more case as example. Let the gross income be 15 lakh in both the cases. After all the deductions under the illustrated exemptions, finally we can see that in the old tax regime, the total tax payable is 1 lakh 9,221 and in the new tax regime, it is a bit higher like 1 lakh 45,101. 
So you can't tell which tax regime is the best. It entirely depends upon your salary as well as the exemptions and deductions which you are eligible to apply for. I will be uploading the link of this Excel calculator in the description box. The slab rates which we have discussed is for the individuals below the age of 60. And for the people who are above the age of 60 and equal to 60, I will be uploading later videos. Hope this video might have given you a basic knowledge of the difference between new versus old tax regime. Hope this might have helped you. If so, please do share this video with your family and friends as a helping hand. With a lot of happiness, signing off, Maria Teresa.